Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter. And this is something that I get asked the most, and it's how to add door sounds to your game. Now, door sounds can be added in so many different ways. There's almost an infinite way of doing it. I'm going to be using my door interaction system that you can find on my Patreon. We're going to look at some things so we'll be able to click on our door, play a sound, close it again, and you get the sound effects when you click. So the glory of how I've done it here is if I show you an example, is that from my previous tutorials, I've got playing animation for opening and closing the actual door. So when the door is opening, we play the open animation. When the door is closing, we play the close animation. And then we wait so we can't click again. And I'm gonna show you how to add a sound effect in there. Now you can check out my most recent tutorial on adding sound effects to games and this will help you out with all different examples of adding sound effects to your game and programming each of those things. But what you need to start out with is that you need to have a bunch of different sounds. So I've got a door opening sound and then I've got one which closes. Now in my script, which is just going to be my basic raycast so that when we left click on the door, it's going to open it and close it and we'll play the sound effects. So I'm going to open up the basic door controller which is in my set of scripts and what we need to do is at the top we've got looking at anim animations so we need a few variables as i said this is one example of how you can do it and there's many many other ways so serialized field private audio source and have this as door open audio source and this is good if you're going to use 3d sounds even 2d sounds then we're going to have a delay that we might want to put in case we need to delay the onset of the sound before it starts. If that sound effect needs to be timed differently, we can do that too. So then we'll also have private float open delay. I'm just going to set that equal to zero because I'm not going to have any delay. And then I'll have serialized field another audio source and I'll just copy what we have above here, paste it in, but I'm going to change that variable to door close audio and I'm just going to copy the variable on the bottom which was the delay paste it in and call this the close delay I just quickly added some attributes so that it would space these out in the inspector so now what we need to do is if, if we go into the play animation method down at the bottom where it's talking about you know when the door is open we play the animation we, what we can do is just go our door open audio source dot play delayed and then we can specify a time of which it's going to be delayed by. So I'll just put open delay and we'll put a semicolon. So that just means it will not be delayed because I've just set that to zero. And then we can do the door close audio source dot play delayed. And then in brackets, I'm going to say my close delay. But actually for this, I'll just set my close delay by default to 0.8F because I want it to delay by about a split second. You would have to test this yourself based on the audio effect that you have. And then when we go back into Unity again, we can select on whatever object we'll have our script on. And it's going to be my door. You can see that now I've got a space for my audio source for open, audio source for close, and the timers for each. So what I can do is just drag the door open to the inspector here. It'll be a special blend 2D sound. We don't want to play on awake, and we can just add our second door close sound. I just drag that straight in. Take play on awake off. So turn these to a 3D audio and put them next to your door if you want a 3D sound effect, because this would work. Now we've got these two here, which will be used over and over. We can select back on our door again. You can see we can drag the door open audio source into there and the door close audio source into here. You need to remember if you're also using my kit, you need to untick the other raycasts and just have the basic door raycast or whichever one you're going to be using. Now we expect that when we click on the door, we get the sound effect. And when we close, we got it like that. So as long as you're controlling when your animations play, you can also control when you play sound effects. But like I said, if anybody's confused, you can check out my tutorial on exactly understanding audio in Unity. And be sure to write down in the comments if you've got any problems, any tips, share it with the community and we will go from there. So hopefully this helped people out. I will upload this to my Patreon so everybody has access to the update with the door sounds so you can go along with it and test it for yourself. So be sure to come and join my Patreon for scripts, projects, and everything that you can't find anywhere else. 
Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat and check out my great assets on the Unity store. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.